Welcome to my lecture online. Now let's look at an example of a discrete random variable. And yes, we're going to try to answer a few questions. So we're tossing a basketball. Well, in this case, not we, but Johnny. John is, Johnny is tossing a basketball and he's attempting to make a basket from the free throw line. Actually, he's going to do it 10 times. 10 times, he's going to throw the ball 10 times to see how many times out of those 10 he actually makes the basket. But then he repeats that experiment 100 times. So essentially, he's going to toss that basketball 1,000 times. 100 times 10 attempts. And then we're going to count to see out of each of those 10 attempts how many he actually makes, how many baskets. So out of the total of 100 attempts, because this will add up to 100, Notice, he will score zero baskets out of 10 attempts once, one basket out of 10 attempts twice, two baskets out of 10 attempts six times, three baskets out of 10 attempts 12 times, four baskets out of 10 attempts 15 times, five baskets out of 10 attempts 28 times, six baskets out of 10 attempts 18 times, seven baskets out of 10 attempts 11 times, eight baskets out of 10 attempts six times and nine baskets out of ten attempts once and never out of those hundred times did he manage to make ten baskets so zero times ten baskets but you can see that all the attempts together that's a hundred attempts of ten a, a ten shooting ten baskets each time so what is the discrete random variable well notice that here's the number of baskets that he made trying 10 times, and here the number of times that happened in each of the attempts of 10 baskets uh, attempted. And so each of those times is an experiment. There's 100 experiments. In each of the 100 experiments, he tries to shoot a basket 10 times. The result of that, how many times does he shoot a particular number of baskets, that becomes the random variable. So the random variable becomes the number of experiments in which he makes zero baskets, one basket, two baskets, three baskets. So that becomes the random variable. And it's a discrete random variable because it's a numerical count, an integer count. He makes it once, two times, six times, 12 times. So that becomes the random variable. What is the most likely outcome? Well, notice that when the lar when the the random variable or the discrete random variable is the largest, that's the most likely outcome. So you can see the most likely outcome, there's 28 of them, is that he shoots 5 out of 10 baskets. So the most likely outcome is 5 out of 10 attempts or 5 baskets, I should write 5 baskets out of 10 attempts. Like this, essentially. All right, the outcome with the highest probability. Well, the outcome with the highest probability is the same again. So notice that this is two different ways of really asking for the same thing. The outcome with the highest probability is that it will make five out of 10 baskets. That happens 28 out of 100 times. But now, what is the probability that he'll get five baskets? Oh, wait a minute, not that x equals five, that's not the right way to say it, because notice that x is my random variable, which is a count. How many times does it shoot five baskets? So I need to dry this up, otherwise I can't write on the wet board. So let me dry it up. There we go. What we want to do here is the probability that he will make five baskets, five out of 10 baskets. That's a better way of writing it. So what is the probability then he makes five out of 10 baskets. Well, notice he does it 28 times out of 100 experiments or 100 attempts. So five out of 10 baskets, the probability is 28 out of 100, which is 28% or which is 0 0.28. So the different ways in which you can express that probability. However, if Johnny gets on the line and is going to shoot 10 baskets, what will be the result of that? It could be anything from no baskets made at all to all the way to 10 baskets made at all because just because in his 100 experiments he didn't get 10 baskets a single time, maybe if he tries it enough, he will eventually get 
10 baskets in a row. So we don't know what's going to happen. So that's why this is random. We don't know what the result is going to be. How many times will he shoot 10 baskets? We don't know. What is the most likely? Well, based upon historical information, if he's already done 100 experiments, you can see that the most likely result is that he'll make five, of, 5 out of 10 baskets. Kind of when you're watching a professional basketball game and somebody gets on the line to throw from the free throw line, and some, some are really good at it, they'll make 9 out of 10 on average, so you know that every time that person steps on the line, almost every single time he'll make that basket. And some are pretty bad at it, so they will foul that person intentionally to get him on the line so they can get the ball back, knowing that the chance of him hitting a basket is far lower, because overall, on the average, he doesn't make that many out of 10 attempts. So in this case, if it was Johnny, and you put Johnny on the line, he's going to throw two baskets, and he's going to throw the ball twice, well, he'll probably make one out of two, based upon that average. That's predicted but he could throw 0 out of 2, 1 out of 2, or 2 out of 2. Again, the result, that's why it's random. We don't know what the result is going to be, how often he will throw 1, 2, or 3, or 5, or whatever the number is. However, we can see there, there's a good way of defining what a discrete random variable is. In this case, it's the count. How many times does he make a certain number of baskets? And that is how it's done. Ready to call a night?